So I'm walking around with this girl and this is like my first date ever. We're just walking and she's, you know, talking and trying to get to know me, asking me questions. And I just remember it was so bad. It went terribly because I could barely say anything. I was having so much trouble trying to think of what to say. Like, it felt like my mind was was blank. Like, she like she say something, and then I'd respond, like, one word answer. And then the conversation would just die. And then I'm just there, like, okay, what should I say next? My brain would just, it just wasn't cooking at all. I just couldn't think of anything. For the majority of the time we were there, we were just walking, and, 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 and I was just saying nothing. There was no vibes. There was no emotions, no happiness, no, no laughing, nothing, man. It was genuinely terrible. Terrible date, man. And the worst part, she took me to her dorm, right? And for 10 minutes, I sat there saying absolutely nothing while she read her syllabus. Bro, in that situation, bro, I was like, yo, what in the heck is going on, bro? That was genuinely like one of the top three biggest L's of my entire life. I genuinely, bro, I sat there for 10 minutes and said nothing, bro. Like I was just sitting there like, bro, it was terrible. And I remember after that date, right? She never talked to me again, bro. <laughs> but I was just like thinking like, yo, why? Why am I like this? You know, any question she asked me, I was just super boring, super mundane. And I realized like, yo, like my personality is trash, man. It's, it's straight garbage. And I think back to, to all the times that I had in high school. And I realized I was the same way. Whenever a girl would talk to me, I would just be boring and dull and, 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 and shy and nervous or whatever. And that's just carrying over to now when I'm in college. And I'm just like, man, bro, how do I improve this? How do I get a better personality? And that's when I thought back to how I met this girl in the first place. It was the first week of college. I was hanging out with my roommate and I actually met some of his friends. And we went out to Target and there was this one guy there who who just had like a terrible wardrobe. Like he had like two pairs of pants, right? We were trying to help him like buy new clothes to get a good wardrobe. And I remember like, this was this was like my time to shine because all summer I had been improving my wardrobe. I had been researching clothes on YouTube, going to different stores and just buying stuff because I wanted to improve my my drip, my fashion so I could get girls. So you know, when I was there with everyone, I had like top, I had like top tier drip and everyone was like, yo, your drip's fired. And I was like, yes sir. And I'm gonna help you get some drip too. So I remember I was just cooking when I was there. Like everyone was just like, yo, like you're, you're W Dale. And it was funny because the girl that was there, we had like a little competition in which we tried to get like the best outfit for this guy. So we were like going and finding the coolest clothes, right? I remember after the hangout, my roommate told me that the girl there was kind of interested in me. And that's how the, the date got arranged, right? So I realized that in reality, I actually did have a personality. And it was my personality that actually got me the date in the first place. But the real problem was not that I didn't have a personality, but it was that I was afraid to be myself around her. I was afraid to be authentic. Why? Why is it that I'm afraid to be myself? I think the reason is, or part of the reason, is that I remember in high school, when I first started, like, like this is like early high school, like freshman year, I think, when I started to, to learn about self-improvement, I remember telling my gamer friends about it in the, in the Discord chat, right? And I remember them like genuinely laughing at me and teasing me and bullying me for wanting to improve my life, saying that it's cringe and all that. And I think from there on, I kind of hid that aspect of myself from people, my self-improvement side. And you know, especially around girls, right? Then they're like, it's even more nervous, right? So I think that made it even, even harder for me to kind of be myself around her, right? Because I was scared that people were gonna judge me, right? But, but, but the thing is, that's the whole point of being yourself, is that people are going to love or hate you. It's this concept of being polarizing. Polarizing is is when it's like a spectrum, right? People love you or hate you. Most people, they stay in the middle with everyone. They just try to be likable, right? They just try to be non-offensive. They don't necessarily share their opinions or anything. And everyone pretty much accepts them, right? And you think that's better to like have more people that like you, right? But in reality, it's not always the case, or it's not the case at all. Because if everyone just likes you, you don't really matter to them. You're just another guy, like, oh, that's Dale. Like, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's nice. Yeah, he's nice. Versus someone who loves you. Yo, Dale, bro, that's my guy, bro. Yo, what's up, bro? Self-improvement, yeah, yeah, yeah. But to have those people, you're gonna have people who hate you, who say, oh my gosh, bro, Dale, man, he's so annoying, man. He's, he's loud, he's annoying, he's goofy, man. Like, you're gonna, have those people, those haters, if you're going to have people that love you. But isn't that better though? Like, wouldn't it be better to have like a group of people that genuinely love you? 
Like, it's is it, isn't it worth it to have people hate you? Like, 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 imagine that. Imagine having a group of people that accept you for who you are, and you can talk about the things that you want to talk about, and you, and you just feel emotionally connected. You can literally be yourself around these people, and they genuinely love you and accept you. And of course, there are gonna be people in the background, you know, hating you. But to be fair, they don't even matter, bro. You're not even gonna talk to them. They hate you, right? So like, they don't even matter. They're, you're not even gonna be interacting with them. Versus you going around trying to please everyone, wanting everyone to like you. In reality, like everyone just pretty much just hates you anyways because like <laughs> everyone cares about themselves and the people that they care about, and they don't really care about you because you're just some other some other guy, right? And to get to this this point where you're able to be yourself and you're able to be authentic, I think it takes bravery. I think it's scary to be yourself for, for whatever reason. If some people are gonna hate you for it, then that's gonna be nerve wracking because you know it's kind of like an instinct to want people to like us because you don't want to be kicked out of the tribe. But you have to be able to see past that and, and be comfortable knowing that people are gonna not like you, you know what I mean? So how do we do that? How do we become more authentic, more polarizing? I think it's really just bravery. The courage to show yourself to others, the courage to talk about things that matter to you, things that you care about, sharing your opinions, and it's hard. It's scary, man, to put yourself out there, to, to, to risk someone saying, that's stupid, I disagree with you. It's scary, to be honest, but it's worth it, man. Be yourself.